Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Tournament 22. Starting off here with Wolf Ninja 1225. Stage 1 exactly the same as it was last tournament. Same 8 obstacles and time limit. 1 minute and 30 seconds. Anyways, he's on the second obstacle here. And there appears to be someone else jumping behind him. Now, has to climb up. And he's done it. Out of the double hill drop. Makes the first one. Time for the second one. This jumps even farther. And he makes it now out of the ring slider. And he's conquered that. Now the warped wall. Oh, misses on his first attempt. And up and on the second. Time for the butch thunder. This is a very difficult obstacle. He's tried it once before. And it took him out. Can he do it this time? He's done it, but he's down to only 20 seconds. He's going to have to go fast here. Oh, and the flying shoot takes him out. And here is our next competitor. This is Atlantic Champ. Now, it doesn't look like Atlantic Champ, but that's because Atlantic Champ got new armor. So this is what the, um, blah, blah. This is what the new Atlantic Champ looks like. And now has to climb up here. Moving very fast. And he's up it. Jumping right into the double hill drop. Nails the first one. Time for the second. It's three feet farther than the first one is. But he makes it. No issues. And kills the ring slider as well. Up the wall in one. On to Butch Thunder. Oh, fails the mount. Next up, Blockmaster6567, also known as Mighty Max80. And he's off. Made it through the hard jumps on this obstacle. And now. Just needs to climb up as fast as he can in order to save time. But needs to be careful as well. He almost fell off the side like twice. And. He's going to complete it. And here we go. It's 12 feet to the platform. And he makes it. And now 15 feet to the platform. Ah, oh, comes up short. Next up, RPG four four five. And past the first obstacle. On to the second one. These first two jumps are the hard ones, and he's made them. Rest of the obstacles not too difficult. Also, just saying this tournament, we are missing quite a few people. Um, Flame Vortex 03 will not be competing. Talking King SS1 won't be competing. Bubba Fan 37 won't be competing. So that's three right there that we usually have. And because Talking King's not competing, that means it's official that no one has been on every tournament. Talking King was the oh well, out goes wrong. But, um, Talking King was the only person to compete in every tournament. And now he's not competing in this one. And we're right here with our next run. This is H&W Superman. Oh, well, he walked off. Next up, this is my sister. Past the first obstacle. Now onto the second. 
And gonna make it through the first couple of jumps. These next ones aren't too difficult. And she's made it up. And pass that onto the double hill drop. Here we go, 12 feet. Makes it. And now 15 feet. Makes that as well. Onto the ring slider. She's been having trouble with this every time she's gotten here. Not this time. She finally completes it. Now the water wall, 14 and a half feet tall. Oh, misses. Up it on her second try though. Now the Butch Thunder mounts it. Goes for the second jump. Comes up short. Next up is DHG Fireball. Unfortunately, my screen is frozen. And it freezes. Okay. It does that every once in a while. Anyways, fireball. We missed the first couple obstacles. So now he's onto the warped wall. Up that. Butch Thunder time. And past that. Even when the screen is frozen, I'm still timing, of course. Even though I don't know where he is, I just listen for the sound of the fusion coil going off. Anyways, last obstacle, the twist and fly. Gotta climb up that cargo net. He's up it, and he clears with 16 seconds left. That's our first clear. And here we go, next up. The final competitor to run stage one. This is Go Tanks. So the question is Will Fireball me going to stage two all by himself? In fact, if he does go to stage two all by himself, I'm probably going to make this tournament one episode, which would be crazy. Might even do it, even if he doesn't. But anyways, can Go Tanks join Fireball on stage two? We're gonna find out. Now, on to the double hill drop. I believe he's failed this once, not sure, but this is an obstacle that he's had trouble with in the past. He's failed it like two times in a row. Going to complete it though. Now, warped wall. Misses, gets up and on his second try though. Onto the Butch Thunder. Goes for that next jump. Ah! Oh! So this is it. DHD Fireball is the only person still left in the tournament. For the first time ever, we've only had one clear on stage one. And this guy will be responsible for carrying us in to stage two, maybe three, and maybe four. He is one of the best. Flying through this first obstacle, Hurricane Alley. And he's done it. Now the hourglass drop. Past that, and here we go. Now a new obstacle. This is the backstream. It can't really be failed. It's mainly used to take up time. It slows you down. The walls are different heights. This last wall, the highest one. Now you just climb over. And he's done it. Time limit's a minute and 40, by the way. Triple metal spin. Kills it. Triple slider. He 
He's moving through this pretty fast as well. The backstream obviously did take up some time, but not that much. Triple reverse. Still got plenty of time left. These get farther and farther as you go. Last one. He makes it. And he clears with 22 seconds left. This is it. Stage 3. The hardest stage of them all. This version of stage 3 has been here since tournament 17. There has, there has been a couple of changes since then. But no one has yet completed the 7th obstacle. Meaning that 8th obstacle, the wing nuts, remains unattempted. Fireball's gotten here the past two times. This is his third time in a row. And both times he failed the mount on to the seventh obstacle, the time bombs. Anyways, on to the curved drum hopper. There's no time limit on this stage. It's just you and your jumping abilities. Now, on to the ultra crazy cliffhanger. makes the first one sticks that ledge and makes the second one sticks that ledge he's past that now on to the vertical limit try And makes it past the first vertical limit on the second. Got a transfer to the third now. Makes it. Now has to dismount. He dismounts and here we go. Obstacle number six. The devil steps. And here we go, gotta climb up here. Needs to make sure he knows how many skulls there are. And he's up. No, no, there's not another skull. No! <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny, but tournament 22 is over.